Now we're going to work on your arm action. So what I want you to do is step in here. And if you were going to toss that ball up there for a serve, what would you do with your left hand when you toss? You're going to toss up with your left hand and getting this position. So I want you to get in there, face the right post, and do this for me. Just pretend that you've just tossed that ball up there. And what I want you to do is I want that left hand to point at the ball. And what I want this to do is I want this shoulder to tip back because the ball when you hit is up here. So we've got to tilt our body. We've got to go up to the ball. As this left hand tosses the ball up, you took your right hand back. How you take it back is extremely important. So I want you to start over again. Let's pretend you had the ball there. Toss the ball up, and as this hand comes back, what I want you to do is make sure that this hand stays below your chin as it comes back. So it's going to look like this. We're going to toss, and this right hand is going to come back almost like your, we call it a swim move, where you're pulling water or air underneath your chin. So that's a little high. That elbow's coming up real high. That's not a great position on your shoulder, and long term your shoulder isn't going to like that. So we're going to toss it up here, and this hand, go ahead and take that left hand up, is going to come from here and see where your chin is. This is going to pull back water underneath your chin. If I had my hand and arm out there, it's going to go below that. So start over. So you're going to start here with your hands. Toss it up there. Nice. Do that again. Okay. Good. Now we don't want to go real low. We just want it to come right below your chin level. There. Awesome. And as you do that, Unlike when you're hitting a floater, when you're going to have a real stiff wrist and a power shot, we want this wrist to be just really relaxed. We want this whole arm to be relaxed because we're going to create a whip with the turn of your body. We want this relaxed so it'll come through and snap through hard on the ball. If it's stiff, your arm speed's going to be slow. So here's this. You're going to toss it up. You're going to take that swim move, bring that arm back. That's awesome. And I want you to repeat that six or seven times really slow and just feel what that right hand is doing. Nice. Great job. Again. Good. Again. And I want to see a little bit more of this tilt. Because once again, when you get a set, the ball's going to be up here. It's not like when you hit a ball, you're going to hit a ball down into the ground or in the net. We actually have to get as you age and get stronger and, and more athletic, we've got to jump up and go get the ball. The sets are going to be up. We've got to learn to get our body here and go up. Just like a tennis serve or something else, we've got to go up and get the ball up there. Real high with the arm. Start overhand here. Okay, just like you've got the ball, toss, do your swim move with your right arm. Do that again. Nice, again. Good, keep going. Keep going, again. Now when you do this, stay right there. What do you feel happening here? Do you feel that stretch? Yeah. Okay. Part of the way you're going to learn to hit the ball harder is if you get your core muscles, right? Your core really goes from your hip through your shoulder blades. Here, if you'll really reach up, reach up for me again, you're going to feel this stretch. That's part of your abdominal muscles stretching. And when they stretch, they're like rubber bands. They'll help you hit harder, but you have to reach up there and you have to get a little bit tilted to make them happen, make them do that. Do that again for me. Six or seven times slow, reach up there. Swim over with your right hand. Nice job. Good, good, good. Keep going. Just do that again for me, please. Great job. Four more. Nice. Scoot back a little bit. So I'm going to have you start about right here. Do that same movement. Reach up. Feel that stretch. Get that stretch. Get that stretch in front. There we go. Nice. Good. Good. Arm getting tired. One more. Make sure that hand stays below your chin as you bring it back. Last one coming. Look up, keep your eyes on the ball. So you're going to toss the ball up there. You're going to tilt your shoulders back. Do your swim move with your right arm. Get in that position for me. Nice stretch, nice reach up there. A little more shoulder tilt. Very good. Now what happens? And how would you do that? First of all, let's talk about what your left arm does. Yeah, so it's actually, your left arm is going to do this. Your left hand is going to come in towards your heart. And we're going to rotate. We're not going to crunch down on the ball, because if we crunch down on the ball, where are we hitting the ball? Down. Where's the ball got to go? Up. The ball's up there. So what we want to do is play tall, stay tall, 
Left hand is going to come in towards your heart. We start to rotate right with your hips, your shoulders, and now we're going to take that right elbow way up high to reach the ball and hit the ball up over the net, not down to the floor. So nice and slow. Give me your toss and tilt. Take your left hand and pull it down to your heart, right in the center of your chest as you start to hit. Do that again. That's nice. Toss and tilt. Left hand to your heart. Good. Again. Awesome. Now, remember how your hips were turning earlier? You stepped and turned your hips. That's going to happen at the same time. We're going to go here. We're going to step. We're going to turn our hips. Left hand is coming to the heart. Right hand's going up to the ball. It's just like you're throwing. It's doing the same thing we're doing. Add your hips to it. Left hand to your heart. Step. Take your hips. That is a great job right there. Nice, nice, nice. Do that again. Left hand up. Left hand to your heart. Step. Turn. Nice. Now, instead of doing this motion, because we're not hitting balls to the ground, where are we hitting balls? Up there. We want our arm to go up to the ball, and when we get up to the ball, this right hand is going to go what? It's going to snap. So let it be relaxed. Let it snap when it gets up to the ball. Try it again. what your hand ought to look like right after you've hit the ball. Nice. Do that again. Awesome. Good. Okay. Again, keep your eye on the ball. Watch your hand hit that ball. And let it snap. Let it extend. Good. A couple more just like that. That's awesome. Let this wrist relax. Let it flop. So this whole arm has to be really relaxed. On a floater, it's stiff. On a power shot, this thing is relaxed so that as the body turns, it just lets everything snap up as you hit the ball. Like a noodle, just like that. Nice. Bring your left hand to your heart faster. Turn your hips faster. Let it snap up. Nice. As you go back here, pull that water, keep your wrist bent, not straight. Yes, do that again. Cool, again, last one. Nice. Now what I want you to do is hit one like that, right into the net. But I want you to go relatively slow, go through your motion, then I want you to step, turn your hips, let that wrist go up, hit that ball, and just let everything rotate through it. Nice. Okay. Now, since we're not hitting to the ground, we don't want to do this. Let's hit this ball and let's hit it over the net. Nice. That a girl. And you see how the extension's up there? It's not this motion. It's up. The ball's got to go up. The hand's got to go up to hit the ball. Do that again. That was awesome. Nice. That a girl. Turn your hips faster and do that. That's really good. Good. Again. Let that wrist stay relaxed the whole time. Turn your hips, let it snap through. Awesome, great job. That's a nice body movement right there. Do that again. Awesome. That is really good. Your body's turning really fast. It's creating this whip, and your arm's whipping through with a lot of nice arm speed. Two more, if you would, please. Good. Relax your right arm, relax your right wrist, turn those hips fast, let it snap through. Awesome. One more and just bring your left hand to your, into the center of your heart, center of your chest, you got it. Nice, great job. We're going to work on your arm action. I'm going to go ahead and hook up uh, one of the gray bands here to this strap around the volleyball standard and let's hook it to the arm cuff above your right elbow. Take your left hand, toss the ball up, show me that toss and tilt position, great. A little more tilt here, feel that stretch in the front part of your abs. And what I want you to notice is this band is pulling that elbow where? Back but back and down. And what I really want you to feel is, what I want you to understand is there's a tilt of your shoulders right here. And we want to keep that hand right in line with that tilt. So do that again for me.
toss the ball up, tilt, bring that hand right across your shoulders, right back to that position again. Awesome, just like that, nice and slow. Let's do that again, and you should feel how that band is helping it pull your elbow there, right? Cool. Good. Put your hands together like you're going to toss a ball, and then separate them as you step. Your right hand's going a little low, it's dropping down here, it's going to go just right underneath your chin, right in here. Good. Do that again. I'm going to step behind you, I'm going to help your shoulders. Good job. Go for it. I'm going to get that tilt. Good. Again. Ball. Nice. Do that again. Keep that hand right below your chin. Awesome. Good job. Good, good, good. Keep going. Good. That time your hand got real low, so go right, just right underneath your chin. Keep that right hand go right underneath your chin. So that got a little high. I'm going to put my hand there again. Good. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. Go to your toss and tilt position. Toss the ball up there. Tilt your shoulders. Bring your right hand back. Get to that position for me. And just like what we worked on before then, your left hand's going to come to your heart. You're going to slowly step and turn your hips. And we're just going to take your right arm right up to impact and stop with your hand in that position. Nice and slow. Toss and tilt. Take your step. Turn your hips. Arm up slow right to there. Good. 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 And we're going to go really high. We're going to reach really high up there, as high as you can. Okay? Great. Slow. Good. Do that again and take that left hand to your heart first. That happens really almost right away. That happens before you even really take your step. We're going here. Bring it to your heart. Step up. Nice. Now, stay there. Stay there for me. You're pretending that you're hitting balls to the ground again. The net is up here. Your sets are up here. you got to reach up here. So when you make contact with the ball, it's going to be up here. Coaches are talking to you about playing tall, not playing small, right? You want to play tall because the ball's up here. You are tall. Let's go up and hit up here. Reach up and look up. Reach as high as you can and let that wrist come through. Nice and slow. Here we go. Again. Left hand to your heart. Reach up. Left hand to your heart. Reach up. Good. Same thing. Do your toss and tilt. Go up to this position. Hold that for me. And then just like you were doing earlier, you took your step, turn your hips, turn your shoulders. Let that hand come up and snap. Do that again with a little bit more dynamic hips. Let those hips go. Take it up and give Shaq a high five. Way up there. Reach way up high. Nice. Again, good job. Good work. Give Shaq a high five. Reach way up there. Good. What's your left hand do? Bring to your heart, that happens first, then you give Shaq a high five. Bring that into your heart. Nice, Kelsey. Now a little faster hips and do that. Faster hips, way up high for Shaq. Good, again, one more. Nice, last one. Left hand to your heart, Shaq's high five. Left hand to your heart. Very good, cool. All right, relax, get a drink. Good work. Put that ball back in there and let's add your arm action to it, right? So we know when you did your toss and tilt, we tossed it up. We turned your shoulders and chest. You didn't realize you were, but that's what you're doing. So we're going to toss it up, tilt a little bit, and do that swim move with your right arm as you're sitting right there. Nice. Do that again. So you're just going to start over, toss and tilt, and turn. Great job. If you hold that band is helping your chest and torso turn, great job. Do that again. Good. Keep that right hand and wrist relaxed. Good job. Keep going. And I'm going to tilt you back there. Remember that position? You feel that stretch in front? Good. Do that again, please. And what I'm looking for, your sternum, right? chest bone from there to there, if there was a happy face on there, I want you to see if you can turn that happy face over towards me as you do your arm action. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Try that again. Okay, that's all right. Squeeze that between your thighs. Turn your sternum around towards me. Stay right there. We're going to tilt a little bit. Nice. 
Put your eyes up on your hand. Do that motion again. That's awesome right there. That motion is what your body ought to be doing when you go in the air. That's what it ought to be doing in the air. It's actually turning and it's stretching through your core. Let's see if you can do it some more. Squeeze that ball with your knees. Turn your torso. Nice. Again, keep going. Nice. I'm going to give you just a little bit more tilt. Try to get a little stretch through the front of your abs. Good. How about three more? Great job, just like that. Now, stay there. Hold that position. What I want you to know is your back's not arching, it's turning. It may look from certain angles like you're arching your back. We don't want you to arch your back. We want you to turn your back. Good with that? Two more if you would. Nice. Good. Last one coming. Great. And relax. Cut. If you had to think of one thing we worked on, what would it be? Hip turn. Thank you. And what kind of hip turn? Uh, one word. Starts with an F. Ends with a T. There's an A and an S <laughs> in between. <laughs> Thank you. Fast hips, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to do your full approach. What I'm looking for is a fast hip turn and you to hit. Okay. Okay? Can I tell you something? That's awesome. Show me a good landing position and you got it. Fast hips, good landing. Yes, I can. That's okay. That's actually a good thing. That's even better. Show me, show me right there. What's a good landing look like? Even, no, no, no. Hold it like a statue. Show me a statue. Feel that position? Thank you. That's where I want to see you after you land. Turn those hips and land in that position. It is all those muscles. Hey, that is awesome. One more, even a little lower with your hips. Really good. Very nice. Now, here's the quiz. I really like what your hips are doing and your legs. Tell me about what your right hand is doing. Yeah? Before all that, that's all correct. How does it get back here? Okay. Ah, thank you. Because where have you been going with it? Thank you. Okay. So show me this position, that little swim move. That's too high. My hand's put right at your chin. That's better, even a little bit lower. Okay. It's keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Relax. Again. And here, we got to stretch that core, not that far, about right there, okay? Do that, and I want you now on this swing, keep that hand below your chin. Everything else, see if you can do it the same way. Better, better. Where was your hand when you went up? How high? When you went back here, where was it? Was it here? Was it here? Was it here? I think it was like right here across your nose. So I want you to just be thinking about that. Let's see if we can bring that down right underneath your chin. That one really got high. That one went <whistles> You know what? That was really good. Do that again. That was the best with your right arm yet. Awesome. Hey, that's, that's really good. That's really good. And it's, it feels different, right? Because now we're asking your hips to turn. We're asking your arms to do different things, but that was really good. See if you can do that again. Keep it below your chin. Nice. Again, just like that if you would. That's awesome. Slow, slow, slow. Go up in the air. Stay right there, okay? Your belly button's pointing straight ahead. Turn your smiley face to me and coach. Not your hips, just your smiley face. Thank you. A little bit more. This way. Yes. You feel that stretch like you felt on the ball? Do that right there. Just work on that right there. Don't move. Go back there. Go back there. Do that movement. Open your smiley face to us. Take the right hand below the chin, and I want you to just do that movement and feel what you were feeling earlier. Stay there. Good. Stay there. 
the hips stay, belly button pointing towards the camera, turn your smiley face towards coach. Yes, you feel that stretch? Do that again. Yes, yes, yes. Again, don't stop. You're just starting to get it. I want you to repeat it. You feel how like through here all your abdominal muscles and everything are stretching? That's where the power, yes, but we got to learn to get those guys in the game. When they get in the game, you're going to hit the ball really hard. Yes, again. Turn your smiley face towards coach. Yep. That's a nice swing. Hey, did you hear that sound? It sounded kind of good, didn't it? Let's see if you can do that again. Do two more. You got two more balls, but I want to see your right hand stay below your chin. Everything else, just let it go. Not bad. Pretty good. Last one. Nice swing. 